In the last episode of Vault Hunter, so we did a vault marathon, running a bunch of vaults and getting a ton of loot. And in this episode, we are greatly upgrading our storage, our entire base in fact, and we may or may not get our hands on my very first ever artifact. So if you're ready, let's get right to it. So yes, today is going to be base expansion day, and hopefully we can also run a vault at the end. But we'll see how far we go. Because you know Vault Hunters, you have a plan, but that plan doesn't necessarily go in according to, well, the plan plan. So yeah. Now part of my plan is actually down here because this area looks kind of good except for this right there. That will be however fixed when we deal with the storage upstairs. But before we do that, I do want to upgrade uh, this part right here because it's just not pretty. I don't use these villages whatsoever. This is kind of, well, doesn't look good. I don't like all these tables being right here. I kind of want it all close together. So I think the first thing that we're going to do is make this place look a little bit nicer. And for that, I'm going to set some more of this stuff uh, vault cobblestone to smelt. I'm most definitely going to be needing my trowel and I'm also going to put some of my stuff away here because I don't really need that stuff right now. And I think the first course of action is going to be to get these guys out of here, including their workstations. Now I actually just remembered that I have updated the mod pack to alpha 12, which means we have a couple of new quests in here, some of which are really, really good, some of which are stuff that we already knew, like what the dungeons are and to complete it we actually need to open a dungeon door which we have done uh but yeah that that's that but we'll get into those a little bit later right now i just mainly really want to focus on upgrading the base so we'll get it back to it a little bit while later actually i just realized there's nothing called a little bit while later but you get the point so i'm kind of thinking if we push this back a little bit that we could potentially have like a little bit of an area where this thing is not looking ugly but then also like the tables has it each of their own like almost spot i guess i'm just gonna get rid of some of this and uh yeah f figure out what to do here i have a plan in my head well I, ha I have an idea in my head but i don't have a plan for that idea so we're, we're just gonna wing this so just by using the trowel i'll be able to place down a bunch of blocks how Ever. I think I need to make these a little bit more common. So it looks a little bit more like this place over here. Yeah, kind of like that. And I, I actually kind of like the shape of uh, this like this cave area already. So I think I'm just going to dig this back a bit and then put in some walls. And from what I can tell, it is time for a little bit of a nap. And I think I'm... At oh, dear me. I was about to say, I actually think I'm starting to like the look of this, but that just... Wow. Okay, that's a lot of this stuff that needs converting. <laughs> And uh, there we go. Now drop all of these so I can pick them back up again. Get rid of the excess soul dust right in here and back to work. Now I think for the roof of this, I'm actually going to... Part of me want to make it go a little bit further up, but I kind of want it to be a little bit lower than what it is out here. And then fix up this bit uh, when we can. But I kind of... Yeah, I think, I think I like the look of this more. There we go. Yep, I actually really like that. I really, really do like that. Now for this bit right here, I could expand it, like maybe add glass here as like a glass floor and then expand it in that way for a place for the animals so they're not just sitting here. I think that could be cool, like have a, a hallway down maybe also for villagers in the future. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be a good idea to do. I do only have 11 glass, however, and I don't have any sand. So, uh, yeah, I know how to fix that real quick. Head in this direction. Hello, beach. I think that this should be good for now. And while that is melting, I can continue my work. Okay, things are... Hello, fella. Things are looking forward. I think this is going to be pretty good. Uh, I may want to add, like, maybe a wooden border or something around this. Maybe I'll add that in the future. But for now, I think that this is actually going to be pretty cool. I just need a little bit more glass. But for the lighting solution, I think because this is going to be a cave area-ish kind of thing, I think using these uh, gilded scounts, scones, whatever they're called, over here is going to look kind of cool. I don't have any more of these lanterns, unfortunately. So having this here is probably going to be okay. I hope anyway. I think I think it will be fine. Yeah, it looks fine. Now for these fellas right here, we can finally get rid of them. 
And I think for now, we'll just place stairs like so and pop them in just like that. Beautiful. And with the grass wall, grass wall, glass wall almost completed, uh, this place will be fully safe during the night. And that's going to be very cool. And now I know that this is actually like really simple. I feel like it looks a lot better than what it did before. Like I really, really like the look of this. And if we add a couple of slabs here, so it's easy to get up and down, I think, yeah. I really love this area, even though the, I didn't really do anything to it. I just slapped down a couple of other blocks. I think I really like how that turned out. And just by adding the last pieces of glass, just like that, the sky thing, cool thing is uh, is finally complete. Definitely need a different border though. I think using polished vault stone is going to do the trick. And yep, that's an improvement. Now, one thing that definitely needs to get sorted as well are all these chests with jewels. However, we'll come back to that later because it update with jewels or two jewels has actually occurred in the last alpha 12 update so we'll get back to that but for now i think i'm going to call that finished uh it's time to work on this area and uh, this thing and maybe most importantly of all we're going to be unlocking uh, not one mod today but two you see if we go in here and just type in knowledge we have 43 knowledge shards which if i just make a little bit of space in my inventory there we go we can make in total five knowledge stars which is exactly what i'm going to do however i if i could spell however i'm not going to reclaim all five of them because we'll actually be needing three of them or maybe even more for something else that i want to do in the very near future and that wait hold, hold on why didn't there we go five knowledge stars and the reason why i don't take more than the ones that i need today is just so i don't have that text on the screen for a prolonged period of, of time <laughs> The rest are gonna go right in there. And the mod that we're going to be, or one of the mods, I should say, that we're going to be unlocking is going to be a drawers. Yes, we are finally getting into drawers, which I'm really excited about. However, that requires us to get a drawer controller, which in of itself is expensive, but we need a park. And well, ladies and gentlemen, I should be able to provide that. In fact, I have two. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so I completely forgot that I actually have two parks in here, so it's not going to be an issue at all. I have been counting my gems and seeing if I had everything that I needed, but guess what? I already have two of them, so this might actually be not as bad as I once uh, thought. But we'll get back to making the drawers first. I think this area will need a little bit of um, transformation if we want this to look good. And I actually have a plan with this entrance as well that I'm kind of excited about to try. So let me transform this area to something that I am currently, or not currently, but that I will be happy with. And I'll be right back with you. And I think I'm happy with this. So my idea here is over here that is going to contain this. Yes, I will have to move this entire thing. Don't know how that's going to work. I, I am dreading it, but it's going to have to happen. Then over here and here, we will have a bunch of different drawers for different things. Some will be two by two. Some will probably be one by ones. Some are going to have some different upgrades like void upgrades, etc. But that is going to be over here. And yes, I don't have any more uh, allocated spaces for drawers. This could be a mistake. We'll see. But then we also have over here uh, this wall. We can probably put some drawers in there as well and then this space is specifically for different tables like the chanting the smithing table the anvil etc now over here so all of this is basically going to be moved these things will have to be moved as well the furnaces uh will have to be put in there somehow maybe in the pillars there however this entrance while it is cool and i kind of like it and we could keep it but my plan was actually to install an elevator which i guess we can still do kind of like in the middle here that just goes directly down yeah my original plan was to remove this entrance but now that i'm here and i need to do it i don't think that i can get get rid of this <laughs> i love it too much so i think we're going to leave this opening these photos are going to uh, go away but we are also going we we will unlock elevators just because we can and they are a cool and i could even actually go ahead and make a black elevator Ooh, it does cost chromatic steel ingots and we need two of them but i think it's going to be worth it just allow me to grab my shears real quick run down to me sheep and just ka-ching nice 
and we have eight ink sack in the total. That couldn't have been more perfect. Yep, we're making them black and just need to grab two perfect Laramar and just like that, boom, two elevators has been made and I think I'm going to place it here, 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 here. Yep, that's actually right by my bed. That couldn't be better. So remove this, place this here. Can barely see it, but food. I, I love that. I may be deciding to use this way more often than the entrance, but I like the entrance. It's it's a good old entrance. We have already always had this entrance, so we're, we're keeping it. <laughs> and believe it or not, I think I'm actually going to stick with this idea. They're just going to be behind there so we can open, put stuff in, and then close it. I actually like that, so I think they should be the other way around. I like that, so open oven, put stuff in, and close it again. I, I actually like that. They're pretty well concealed there. And then we can place in our other stuff, like the enchanter, which is the most important part, stone cutter, which I rarely use, and then the anvil. At, at this slope, though, does need does need something. Uh, yeah, better, be better. We we can still kind of get in if I just remove some of this stuff. Yeah, better. That's fine. Perfectly fine. This is fine. Now, before I can actually move this thing in particular and uh, this as well, this just needs relocating. I don't. I guess in there would be fine. But before I can do this stuff, I want to remove the gems, and so that means that we need to get started using drawers. So in total, we have 17 gems, and I think I think that would uh, that would be equivalent of having four two by two oak drawers because that's going to be four, eight, twelve slots, and then we need actually another one. So that is four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Sorry, and then one just one by one. And I kind of want to fit that in somewhere. And I'm happy to report that I have an idea. So let's get to work. So to make drawers, we need uh, chromatic iron and also a bunch of uh, driftwood. And thankfully, I have all of it. And I just realized, actually, hold on. We have mod boxes. I'm going to open three of them. And the reason for that is because I believe that we could potentially get, yep, stuff from drawers. This is a compacting drawer, which is really cool. This, it, wait, wait, this, that's a, no way, that's a drawer controller. <laughs> We actually, okay, we don't need to use a park anyway. Um, let's just get down and see what we got. That's a uh, storage of free one. Okay, that's not too good. But this, that's cool. Because with this, I believe in theory, I don't actually know how you use this thing. I think you place it down and then you can write. Nope, that's not how you use this thing. Aha, there we go. I got, I got the texture uh, for some of it anyway. And I don't know if there is a secondary. There is. Ooh, do I want that? Oh, you can add, add inside it as well i think i don't want to rush this i don't want to rush this where what why 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 how mean i think i'm going to go with this right here um yeah it, it's gonna look unique i don't know if this was the right choice but it it is now anyway with that i can now go ahead and make four of nope that's the wrong type i need of these so four of these and i already made one of these so i guess i can actually test if this actually works as it should if i put this in there let's say a plank in there and if I just right click, right, right, right click. Oh yeah, yeah, that worked. That reminded me, we need to make a drawer key. In fact, we need to make two. I'm actually happy that I made that, uh, one too many drawers. We also need to make this thing, apparently. To we'll make some upgrade templates, we'll need these anyway. And then go ahead and make two, I believe, of these. Of course, I used all my ink sack when I was making that wool. That's annoying. Oh well, not a problem that's not solvable. So let's go ahead and make the quantify key and then the drawer key. So that means that we can now put this stuff away that I don't currently need. But we can now do that and we can actually see how much is in there. Okay, I was afraid that that wasn't what I thought it was, but it is. So I'm very happy now. So because this chest is going to be in there, the, the controller or the access point for it, that thing is going to be literally right there. I'm going to just put these there. I think it's going to do well. And... I think this is going to be fine. So for now, I'm going to just put everything in here. Take all of this. And I can actually turn these back into normal Larimar as well. So I don't need, I don't have to have them compact anymore. That's pretty cool. I could use compacting drawers here as well, but I don't feel like I want to. And just go ahead and right click every one of these with the quantify key. And just like that, all of them are being added to the thing. 
Now I will need to find a way to actually attach the drawer controller, probably through the floor or something, but that's going to be a later me problem. Now this top one has to be special, so I'm going to add the echo jam to that one. I think that that is probably a worthy space for it. And uh, there we go. That is all the gems that we have added to this thing. And it does look like that we're missing a gem from the selection. So that's interesting. I wonder which one it is. Unless I just counted wrong, which is also very possible. I think I counted that one with it, so we actually have 16. Um, yeah, that's that's going to be right. I, I'm, t I'm, I'm taking that back. You, you're going to stay there. That's just going to be free. Yeah, there we go. Now, in terms of drawers, I'm just going to be making quite a few. I think I'm going to be making five of each. So that's what, okay, fine. Yes, I'm making six of those, but let's make five of those and then five of these just to begin with and then add them in this wall right here. And I'm thinking adding these at the bottom first. Maybe we'll add it. Actually, we'll add an extra row. I think we'll add an extra row, which means I should only be needing four. Yep, just like that. We can add these in here and then just the single ones at the top. And I'll need to figure out what to actually we might just get rid of the stairs for now. I actually like that. I actually like that a lot. Now, here's something that's going to be a complete headache and I'm not going to enjoy the process of what stuff of this do I want to add in there? I primarily want to add things that are like really t taking up a lot of space, things like this and all probably all these top slots, to be honest. But before I do that, I am going to be needing some of these trims and this frame storage controller is going to be right there, I think. So I now need to connect that somehow. I think I'm going to do that by actually seeing this and then dragging over some of these trims to the next spot over here as soon as we get in contact with the drawer just like that but i will need to continue actually this way behind these all the way over to wherever the ones for mining is so right there that is not going to be noticed by anyone or anything so connecting them like this should i think in theory mean that uh oh yeah oh yeah me should mean that now if i were to add this in there or maybe maybe let's test with cobblestone Let's go ahead and say, you go there. All right, quantify key. And then, boop, boop. Yes, that connected, that connected, that connected. Oh, and look at this. Phew, and I can go to bed just like that. <laughs> I love this. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and add a bunch of these things to this because uh, I, I'm going to have to. I will run into a problem where I think I will want to install a void upgrade. I'm assuming because this thing is already full and I don't want that much of this wooden chunk stuff. Like, yes, yeah, sure, it's used for planks and scaffolding, but other than that, not much. So I think I'm probably going to be making a bunch of upgrades and then I will go ahead and void the rest. So I will be needing void upgrades and for that I'm going to be needing even more upgrade temple, uh, templates. Now once I have the templates I think I don't know how many of these I'll actually want to make. I guess I'll maybe make like five. Is five going to be in too too much maybe? Where do I have? I don't have cactus. Oh boy. Uh, I think this is a desert. I really really hope this is a desert. Um. Well whatever it is I oh that is cactus. Okay it seems to be then. Okay, good. Well, how many of these do I need? Um, right. Oh, what's this? Prickly pear. Interesting. Don't think I'm interested in eating that, not gonna lie. I'm gonna get these. Uh, I, I ideally should get more so I can actually make a farm of these. But for now, I think I'm just gonna get 10 and let the farm part be future binary vigilante problem and not current binary vigilante problem. It has been decided. Right, so I can indeed make five of, five of these and I think I'm going to do just the that and I'm also going to be making 16 more upgrade templates because I first of all these are cool but I don't think I have enough oh wait it's one for eight Ooh, illuminate straw labels in the dark I really want this but I'm going to wait with that for now I want the storage upgrade because while I do want to avoid the stuff that is down here I do want to have still a, a lot of it so that I can actually use it if I need to so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort this out get the upgrades in get the items in and then I will introduce you to this place once I am done. So see you in a bit. While I'm doing all of that, if you could do me a favor and leave a like on this video, that is great, that is appreciated. And if you haven't done
done so yet be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode now let's get back to it and i believe that that is that so i went ahead and transferred a lot of the items or rather the items that we had a lot of like multiple hundreds here i went ahead and added to these straws now some of these straws does have an icon on there and that is because it has a void upgrade which means that as soon as this thing is actually full uh they will just get yeeted basically <laughs> And I have applied that to this, 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 and this, however, and not the remaining ones. And while there are more items than these, however, it's not something that is actually taking up a whole lot of space, so I'm just leaving them as they are for now, because that's just fine. So for now, I think this is fine. It is all connected to this. I moved the ores from here to here, because I think that looks cooler. I added all the coins in a compacting drawer right there, and I added some of my spare tools up here to the wall, so we could actually get rid of the chests, and so I, add, I could add this uh, very lovely staircase right here so now there are two things remaining that i need to do one i need to move this thing up to here which is going to be absolutely fun and enjoyable um and then also i want to move this interface right here all the way up to here because this is going to be where we spend a lot of our time now and i may need to move that as well but uh, not the entire chest but just this interface i want to move that up there so i'm probably going to have to move this to the back somewhere and then lead over a cable or something like that but first thing i need to tackle i think is uh is going to be this because i can break this just fine and i won't lose any of the content however i don't know if i can move the entire thing and not lose any of the content inside so what i'm going to do is probably go ahead and take like the most important things or i can't just go ahead and transfer everything by hand just over here to the drawer controller and right click and everything will be just inserted into their rightful uh places i could do that as well um however that is again going to take quite a while because i have a lot of items so i don't think that this option is uh, quite viable or throughout um yeah i need to think a bit oh yeah by the way these uh as well i think actually all of them if we go in here they also have a storage upgrade tier 4 increases the storage by 16 times so that is 512 times 16 that is at least 5000 according to my calculations i don't know i didn't give these ones up here because those are not items that we actually have a whole lot of plus they're single ones so they can actually store all the way up to 2048 however these do have because each box can only contain 512 by default see i i can do math quick math i think i might actually go ahead and just do it like this it's uh, it, it's kind of satisfying somehow just going over there and just click it all and then it just all goes whoop, and then it it's all good yeah I, I think i'm just gonna continue to do this and uh yeah i'll see you afterwards i just don't want to risk actually losing any of the stuff that is actually in here and there we go that actually wasn't as bad as i thought it would be and we actually th this is all the stuff by the way that is not in this storage right here so this thing is going to last even longer now actually so all i need to do now is basically just tear this down and uh well rebuild it back over there all right there we go i moved and this thing is working nicely so i should be able to just break this and just go and add everything back in beautiful now i do need to go through this just by a little bit um sort by amount i do need to go through this just a little bit because there are a couple of things that are vanilla vanilla items that i don't want in here like the chest for example um but i think other than that i think we're good actually nice now to move this thing right here all the way up to there um oh boy also look at this I, oh i need food just yoink get that out there and <laughs> i love this right uh yeah probably gonna have to destroy you destroy you i shouldn't have done that because now i need to actually find dirt that there we go okay that wasn't actually too bad yeah i'm gonna have to destroy you back here and i'm probably gonna have to do it back here let's put you there and then link cable link inventory to wait why is that not connecting maybe because this thing isn't complete let's see still has all the items yes that is now connected uh network route um i guess i just need to put you there and then i just need to i think make some normal cables 
aka network cables like these. For now, I'm just going to put that there so I can actually search and look for my chromatic iron. Make a couple of these. How many do we think? Something like that. I don't want to use too much of the chromatic iron because uh, I still need to spell some more. And just to test this, in theory, right? If I maybe if I just do this, actually, hold on, I need to test this. So this is connected to the link cable. Do I not need the network route? Hold up. Let me just do that real quick. No, okay, I do need the network route connected somewhere, but I can attach this using just normal cables, uh, just like this. I don't have to be on the same like a thing as that. Okay, that makes it way, way easier. So I think actually, if we go back a bit and go over to like Y level or not Y level, C level, yeah, about here, minus 780. This could be a problem. Uh, yeah, that would be a problem. Uh, need to be higher. So I want to connect it to here. So I'm placing that there. And then of course, I want the cable to be as slow as possible. So I can hide it as well as possible. But I think that this can work It just fiddle a bit with some camouflage, just like that. And then just a bunch of dirt should cover this up nicely. Yeah, look at that. No one will even know that there has been laid down a cable whatsoever. I think that is brilliant. So this can stay here look pretty, I guess. And then up here, we can just be like, boop, back to the network we go. Awesome. I love it. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that that is going to conclude the base uh, expansion. One thing that I did think of doing is just going to add a stair there and then a stair over here, just to make it look that much nicer. I think that's good. Right. As we have, I need to use my elevator now, as we have made this area over here look really cool, I want to go ahead and make one more table, which is in this, and that is the alchemy table. I believe this is maybe not the alchemy table itself, but this thing right here is going to be really, really cool. Let's read this. The alchemy table is a very useful table. It allows you to modify your vault potions to add a secondary effect to your charges. These are really, really cool. So some of them needs to be unlocked, uh, which we will learn about later apparently, but a handful are access accessible already now. One effect can be added per potion and their strength scale with the uh, base tier of your potion, acquire alchemy table. And I want to do that right off the bat. And that would be this, so yikes. Okay, uh, this is gas tier. I don't think I have a gas tier. And I don't even know if I have enough chromatic, uh, oh boy, I don't know. Also, yeah, I locked all of them. So all the items are locked in. So even if that reaches zero, that if I put this item back in again, it's going to land there, which is like super cool. But apparently I need two of these. That's extremely expensive. But from the sound of this, this should hopefully be a uh, very, very much worth it. Hmm. Actually, I think the only things that I don't have is going to be another ward and gas tiers. Everything else has been fairly easy to to gather. So right, how would I get another wart without? Um, yeah, do -ba -do -ba -do. Hmm. I can find it in sacks apparently, but that is not really a possibility. Uh, the warp toad can drop it apparently. Okay, well, I don't know of only really one way and that is going to the nether and find the fortress. I, uh, I, I forgot that I added the waystone to this. Um, <laughs> oopsie. Well, here we are. Now where is Where's the center of this place? I don't have a proper weapon. That's a problem. Yeah, so this is an issue. The fortress that we found seems to have been cut off by itself or something weird, where the part that would normally go down, it doesn't exist. So I need to find another fortress which could prove very interesting. Well, there is one down here, apparently. That is, however, going to be a bit of a journey, but we'll make it, maybe. Actually, that wasn't that bad whatsoever, and this one has a proper interior to this place. is actually huge. Okay, um, yeah, this seems to be about right. Hopefully, this has what we need. And this just has exactly what we need. However, I wouldn't mind getting it. Yeah, there we go. Getting a little bit more, and then also getting the soul sand, of course. There we go. Job done. We can basically head home. Uh, my thing is not charged yet. There we go. Well, this rain is appropriate. I didn't get a gas here. Oops. 
Come out, come out, wherever you are. I really need you to spawn over here and not in the middle of an ocean lava, the ocean thing. Man, it's bright here. Wow. I mean, if it, even if it spawns out here, I mean, enabling the magnet hopefully should make it so even if I kill it in the air that I'll get what it drops. But oh boy, I also need to be careful not to get stuck down here, which I almost did. Yikes. Why is it always that when you need something the most, it does not exist? Like literally. Like I feel like whenever I'm at a fortress and are just doing my own business, a guest always spawns in to to annoy me. And I just heard one. Where are you? I can't. I, I actually can't see it. Where on earth is it? Aha! So I just did that, enabling magnet, and uh, it, it dropped nothing. It, it actually dropped nothing. It, my magnet was already enabled. That's that's just disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> like these stupid things always spawn in when I'm at a fortress. Now that I'm on a fortress, literally running around doing nothing, they don't spawn. Like why? I mean, at least I can loot this stuff, I guess, uh, while I'm waiting and maybe get a skeleton head. Oh, just as I said, just as I said it. Wow. Okay. Maybe the altar will need one one day. I'm just going to run around here until I hear one outside because uh, this could take a while. Yes. Finally, 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 a soul sand valley where these things spawn naturally. That, that's not ideal. Okay, there we go. And finally, and I even got for it. I didn't have return to center. Wow, okay. Well, I'm one kilometer away. I got one uh, ghost, go, ghost tier, gas tier. That's all I need. Time to go home at last. Oh, now you spawn in abundance. Okay, got, ow, got it. I see how it is. I see how it is. I, I really see, I, I, I see it. I see how it is. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally, totally fine. And I come home to this. Lovely. Anyway, before I do anything else, I believe I need four of these and then need a bunch of these because then what I'm going to be making is going to be a warp stone because once I have this I should be able to just hold down this and then be able to teleport to any of the waystones that I have actually selected. Now it does take some time to recharge uh, in fact 300 seconds which is five no wait yeah five minutes I was correct however I think that it is going to be very much worth it but with everything collected we can now make the alchemy table pretty cool. I think its place is going to be right over here in the corner. Yeah, that looks good. Now here's the thing. I don't know if I can actually go ahead and use this potion that I have here or if it's going to require the bigger tier. So the alchemy table. Oh, I can. Oh, wow. Hold up. You can add all of this stuff. So basically, if I add one of these, so I can only add one. And if I do it, then when I drink this potion, it is not only is going to heal four hit points, it's also going to apply whatever I choose, like regeneration for 20 seconds. That's not bad. 20 seconds as well. Wow. And there's a lot of these as well. However, I need to actually discover these. I think you discover them in dungeons. However, I could be wrong. Um, absorption hearts, regenerate. I feel like regeneration is probably going to be the, the thing that is going to be the best for us. So let's go ahead and let us complete this task, add this stuff here, and then uh, not speed, but regeneration. Oh, that's so cool. And it pops off. That's actually so cool. But now since I've done it once, uh, maybe I can replace it, but I won't be able to add another one to this. So I think we did a pretty good job. We have upgraded the base significantly, especially the storage. So I think it is time that we actually run a vault for today. It's going to be a short one, but it's definitely going to be. Yeah, we, we just need to do it. We can't not play Vault Hunters and then not run a vault and this one is super easy to make so for this i will need my hoe and then we just go ahead and yep those are the potatoes just right click a little bit enable the magnet of course and just like that the rain is over and boom all the potatoes required that is why i made the farms right there so that stuff like this is going to be super easy for us to do and now i just need 36 rotten flesh <sighs> Well, on the bright side, at least it's almost night time, I suppose. I also really want to try out this sword. It looks really, really cool. It's not going to be as powerful as this axe, mind you, but it's still going to be pretty awesome. 
Now, while I'm waiting for nighttime, believe it or not, we have everything that we need in order to make the artifact tome, uh, which I, yes, I did just go ahead and make that. Uh, so the goal for any hunter is to complete the infamous artifact puzzle and to fight the legendary herald. Artifacts are rarely found in completion crates after level 20. I have not found one yet. The chance of finding an artifact gets higher the higher level of your vault is when you complete it. There are 25 unique artifacts you could need to collect it in order to gain access to the herald. You need to collect all of them. So that is the ultimate goal of the pack. The artifact tome, the one that we just made, will display the puzzle above it and artifacts can be placed in their correct spot to complete the puzzle. While hunting for artifacts, you will most likely come across duplicates. These can be tossed into fire in order to burn into a fragment, which can be used to craft a new artifact. And we have just gotten our very first artifact. Like, we haven't gotten one yet. We have not gotten one whatsoever just yet. And I don't know what to do with this, but I'm going to place it right there. Oh, wow. No, I'm not. This needs... This needs a grand wall of some sort. Um, hold on. Uh, hmm. This place really isn't grand enough for this thing. Uh, if we place that, wow. Yeah, th this thing needs something big. Hmm. This definitely will need improving in the future, but for now, I think that this is going to be pretty good. I definitely want to probably add a very cool wall and then replace all of this stone with this. We'll do that in a future episode, but I think this right here, yeah, for now, for now this will work. So I guess we just right click this thing. Or actually we need to, oh, we need to identify it first. Oh, okay. And it is the Vault Hunters one, which I still don't know what we do here. Okay, so it, it's basically just to show you where each piece go. And we got the middle one, Vault Hunters. Oh wow, I did not I did not expect to to get that today. So hopefully in the future this entire wall will be filled out. I am excited. Well, now that that is done, I do not want to hesitate anymore. Let's get that run flesh and let's run that vault. And boom, run flesh has been acquired. And I don't think I'm actually going to add anything to this uh, crystal. I'm just going to run it perfectly as is. So I think I'm not missing anything other than building blocks. So without any further ado, let us get to it. Okay, seven monoliths and we have hoard. So that is plus 50% item quantity. I guess it's good that we got that storage uh, <laughs> situation uh, dealt with. Anyway, let's get to it. There was, I read the patch notes for this version of Vault Hunters. Apparently, uh, the common rooms has been tweaked a little bit. And, oh wow, I love this thing. I love this sword. And uh, apparently, more POIs or points of interest should have been added, uh, if I understood it correctly. So the common rooms are, I guess, more uh, interesting, I guess, if that's a word. I mean, I will not complain if there's more loot to be had. Oh, a champion. Where did you spawn from? Okay, uh, interesting. I mean, you're not that tough, so I'm I'm happy. But I, I just got a pog. That thing dropped a pog. What? I need to keep my eyes open for a dungeon because we do have a quest that requires us to complete it. Or complete one, I should say. And if we complete it, we'll actually get a pog, which is uh, pretty good. And that's the first monolith. And second monolith. The sword is actually really powerful. I haven't had to use the axe so far. Like doing a lot of damage so far with just the, the sword. Oh, wow. <laughs> I destroyed four of them with just one javelin throw. Wow, okay. I won't complain. That's pretty cool. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, at least I got the third monolith. I just got a mod box. Pretty cool. And I got a chest that was trapped. Uh, you guys are really, really creepy and I don't like you. Please go away. Fourth monolith. Oh, hello. This has loot, but also crates of stuff. What's this? Crate of carrot. Uh, what? Go, go away. No. Crate of beetroot. I, you know what? One day I will need all of this and I will hate myself for not taking it. So, you know what? I'm going to take it. A lot of it anyway. And also the fifth monolith. I'll take that too. Oh, champion. Hello. I can't see your health bar, sir. Okay, half. Yeah, it's fine. And you have a little friend. I don't like friend. There we go. Oh, and some extra leggings as well. Maybe we'll get an armor upgrade today. 
And this is the Sith monolith. Not bad whatsoever. Only downside is, well, it's not really a downside. Ah, this is an ore room. Um, yeah, the, the downside is I haven't actually found a dungeon yet and we have nine minutes left. So that is not ideal. Oh, please. Yeah, sparkle team. I only have one of those. So that's good. Um, but I can't really pass up an old room because they're really good and I ideally finding a dungeon in here would be really, really good. Trying to loot this place as fast as possible so I can keep going. How did I miss that? Wow, that's a disappointment to myself. <laughs> okay, all these paths are blocked off. Oh boy, uh, time is not with me at the moment. I need like a thing roughly like five min, four or three. Three minutes to run all the way back home. I think. I don't have any kiwis, do I? Nope, no kiwis. So that's fun. Just need to find the monolith as soon as possible. And, uh, yep, with haste. Okay, there we go. Seventh monolith right there. And I'm fairly close to home, I think, as well. So that's good. Now I can focus my search on either really special places like uh, Gilded or Ornate or a dungeon opening, which uh, would be the most ideal. Okay, I found my main portal room. That is this. I went forward. I'm just going to check quickly the right room and the left room if I can afford it time-wise, just to see if there's a dungeon. No, it can't be, be running it, but if I can just at least open the door, then we'll get that quest done and sorted, and we can get the rewards from it. But it doesn't look like we have one. At least not in there. Please have one in this room. That would be absolutely epic. However, I unfortunately don't think I see one. Nope, I'm gonna need to head back just to be on the safe side. Well, it's fine. We will get it in the future. It's not like we haven't found dungeons before. So with that and less than 30 seconds remaining, let's head out of here. Whoa, almost 24,000 XP acquired i'm not gonna complain about that one bit and the sword is really good as well and we've unlocked another expertise point Ooh, i don't actually know what to put it put it into hmm i'm going to just put these jewels in here i will talk about the jewels in the next episode just because that's going to take a little bit longer time of time that we currently do not have what we do have time for though is placing this down putting our pug in here and let's take a look at some of the stuff that we got we got a bunch of cool stuff gear we got a dreamstone a mod box 27 volt diamonds a ton of gems i'll add this to the storage uh off camera by the way we got five of these hopefully we'll get something nope we did not and in here we got nine inscription pieces so that means we can make another empty inscription thing again we'll do that in the next episode all in all i think that's actually pretty successful now in this what did we get here looks like a bunch of stuff actually a bunch of coins some jewels not too bad and an unidentified sword a wand a chest plate yeah this is uh this is a lot of stuff let's put the jewels away oh, i'm so dumb i forgot to actually take a bounty well next time <laughs> <laughs> Let's identify everything. Me, 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 me. Okay, these leggings are actually a lot better. They have four implicits, um, ten armor instead of six. Still has a two armor prefix. However, we have increased ability power instead of thirteen percent increased attack damage. I'm not happy about that. I would love to rerun the prefixes, but I mm, don't. That's a risk. I don't have the thing that like re rerolls if there is something like that the prefixes. So I even though they're good, uh, that's it, it's possible that I can get away with it. Let's see. Damage is thirty six down to thirty two. Defense does go up though. I don't use uh, no no. I'm I'm not gonna change it just yet. These, however, is a little bit less armor. It does mine does currently have mana though and one tier in extra arm. No. The, None of this stuff is really good enough for me to replace the stuff that I actually currently have. So bye bye, it all goes. And regarding that expertise point, let me know down below in the comments. What should I use it for? A trinketer, mystic, infuser, any of these? Let me know what you think down below uh, because I really don't know what I should be picking. But guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, greatly helps out the channel. If you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on the next episode. A huge 
huge thanks to all my Patreon supporters. And with that said, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, goodbye.